Hi hey everybody, Lydia Crowder here today and let's smash some corner bead on the Build Show Network. So I have something fun planned here today. I've got a stick of Trimtex vinyl and then I've got a stick of traditional um, metal corner bead here. They're both coated with hot mud, easy sand, 20 minutes. This one is adhered with staples and Trimtex 847 spray. And Trimtex makes quite a few different beads and different, um, you know, mud bumps and different options here. We're just going to go straight up square, but you can always tell it's Trimtex bead because it has a little tease in there. So those little tees mean Trimtex. This one is spray and staple. As you can tell here, the back is slick. They also make another type that is mud adhered. It has like little tiny mud teeth. It's called mud set. This type is not mud set. If you are applying this with mud only, it's going to fail. You're going to have cracking and major issues down the road. So make sure you're checking the back. If it's slick, it needs to be stapled and sprayed. If it has a little mud teeth on the back, you can do that as a mud adhered bead. Um, metal here, you can clinch it on. I think clinch on is why people have so many issues and so many problems with corner bead in the first place with cracking. Uh, we tend to do staples or we'll do nails. Uh, metal is metal. It's like, I believe it's aluminum. I'm not totally sure, but there's different types. It's pretty flexible. It's soft because it's metal compared to vinyl, which is, you know, not as soft. That mud bump there is way stronger than this metal corner bead is here. I can probably get it to bend actually. Yeah, like that's just with my hands. So, um, some nice things too about vinyl are that Trimtex makes all of their products out of recycled plastics. So I've actually been to their factory, had the whole factory tour. It was really amazing to see how they do everything. They're really big on reusing, recycling, everything that they use. I would say probably about their beads are made at least 75% of recycled plastic products. So it's pretty cool, this whole system they do. They're only using certain plastics. They kind of have a... Um, a process in which they refine down the plastics and get the good ones out and make sure that they're using quality plastics in their vinyl bead. Another thing to keep in mind too, when you're looking at vinyl versus metal, this will rust. If it's in a wet area, if it's next to showers, if there's a lot of moisture, this is gonna rust because it's metal and that's what metal does. Vinyl will not rust. Uh, it's a great choice for showers, anything like windows, anywhere where you're gonna have a lot of moisture, it's pretty fast to install too, and it coats out really nice. I would not use this around fireplaces, like if you're doing a zero clearance fireplace or you're going to straight up drywall to fireplace, you need to be using a metal bead because metal doesn't catch on fire like plastic does. So make sure you're using the right type for the right job. There's a lot of different styles of plastic beads. They have, oh man, I wanna say maybe like, they probably have about eight or nine different profile styles and there's so much that you can do with them compared to metal, which pretty much comes in straight or bullnose. So um, when you look at the options, there's a lot more options with vinyl. It kind of gets dogged a little bit sometimes. I'm not sure why. I think it's because people just haven't had the chance to work with it and they kind of just go with this traditional product, which I mean, we just saw that this one is just not, not the same as this one. But let's go ahead and do that smash test. Again, we did the vinyl sprayed with the 847 and staples. So this one you can install with screws, um, nails, or we use inch and a quarter, eighth of an inch galvanized staples out of a staple gun to install this one also. So either one, but you also need to make sure you're using enough. This guy's a lot easier to install, just glue and staple. And then um, let's go ahead and smash some corner bead. Which one do you guys think is gonna do better? I think I already know from this example right here, but uh, let's go ahead and hit it. Okay, so what I'm gonna be looking for is if this like mud bump right here or this reveal is gonna stay intact because really when it comes down to fixing corner bead, if this is done and this is like totally twisted and ruined, you have, you're not gonna really be able to fix it. So just got a hammer right here. All right, so as you can tell, this vinyl it, we had some mud pop off. It's just because we're using hot mud or easy sand, but this is fixable. Like this whole nose right here is still absolutely completely intact. I mean, that's just, that's a simple patch. Let's just tack it down a little bit and just kind of fill it back up. This, this is destroyed. Like there is no head there anymore. Like trying to fix that, you, you can't, you have to rip off the whole piece. So there are definitely a lot more advantages to using vinyl beads over metal beads. I mean, 
that nose is done. That's just completely destroyed. This took the same hit. We had some mud chip off, but other than that, that's totally fixable. It's still right there. It's still completely round. And I was hitting it hard too with a hammer. Like you guys saw what it did to the metal bead. So I think it kind of just stands clear which one the, the choice is here. Very fixable. It took some damage, but absolutely fixable in and out in a couple minutes. This one, you're ripping the whole piece off. It's completely destroyed. And you've turned something simple into, you know, a big patch and a big repair. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your products. Trimtex makes the best vinyl beads out there. They have so many choices. It really is amazing. And it's cool because you get to offer your customer a choice on what kind of finishes they want in their house. Um, that is it for me today, and that was really fun. And <laughs> we maybe have to do a smash test again. Maybe it'll be kind of like a, a bi-monthly thing or something. We'll get the hammer out and try to hit something. Um, anyway, that's it for me today. You can check me out on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube under Drywall Shorty. And I will catch you all next week on the Build Show Network.